Yo, what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am Q the Coast Rican and today, today, we have a slightly different kind of video other than, well hello, how you doing? Other than, um, uh, battle spot singles, you know, where you, you know, bring six, uh, show, show six, bring three, you know what I'm saying? 3v3s types, bro, I don't care about the market. Um, <laughs> we're actually gonna go in with our ghost type team. Let's look at it, just look at it real quick. Same team as yesterday. Yesterday? Did I post a video yesterday? Same team as yesterday. Um, but we're going in to a random link battle just to see if our ghost type team can measure up to the random link battle teams that we, uh, run into. Let's go into single battle, and let's just see if we can find one first off. And second off, let's see if our ghost type team has what it takes to take on a full 6v6 squad. I, much, uh, much, much, I much, I like 6v6 more than 3v3s. We're going against red. Now, if this man doesn't have a Charizard, I would be shocked. You should probably be too. And uh, let's see. He's got a Pikachu as a, as a, you know, icon. Like, this man has definitely got a, a red, a red themed team. You know what I'm saying? If y'all don't know who red is, shout out to Pokemon Gold and Silver. Uh, this looks good. How do you, how do you make the battle timer different, bro? There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. I just don't know. Though. I, don't, I don't know what it is, though. But anyway, we're going to select our participating team as our party team. As you can see, pretty standard team that we've been running for the past, like, five videos. Uh, I was debating if I should switch Chandelure with four attacks and have it be Choice Scarfed. But I was like, nah, let's just have it. Let's just have it be the same. All right, well, let's just see what happens. Maybe he's got six Pikachus. Maybe he's got Pikachu Charizard. I don't know what else. You know what I mean? And uh, maybe Butterfree. Stuff like that. And uh, he actually has a pretty decent team. He has... Gardevoir and Gallade, the double psychic combo. Uh, Kalalalal Oyster. Um, what's that thing called? Gyarados, Titar, and Arcanine. That's actually a pretty decent squad. Uh, yeah, it's it looks like a nice team. It really does. I'm actually going to lead off with my Runagrigus and to set spikes. That's what I'm doing. And that's what we're going to do. And hopefully we can get spikes on and they'll stay. Because, uh, let's see. Let me look back at his team real quick. His Cloyster is the only one that can know Rapid Spin. Yeah, his Cloyster is the only one that can get rid of these spikes. And then Gyarados isn't affected by them. And then if somebody else is rocking Heavy Duty Boots, they're not affected by it. But I'm going to see how it is. I'm going to just set my spikes and uh, go from there and see where, the, see where the game takes us. So at the time of recording this, it is Wednesday morning. It is Wednesday morning. The DTC Season 2 Draft League is still, or just, we're still drafting, I should say. We're still drafting, but also as well. Uh, this man is not dressed to impress. I'm not going to lie. He's got a Dusk Ball. That's a T-Tar. Is he going to turn one Dynamax? Find out right now. Okay, so I really do want to Toxic Spikes. I really do want to Toxic Spikes. But I also want to Body Press him. I'm stuck. Maybe we live a Max Darkness. Probably not. But I really do want to Body Press him. But I also really want to get up Toxic Spikes. So I'm just going to do it. He actually doesn't Dynamax. I want to say we could live. We live two of these. No, we don't. We don't even live one. Is that Choice Bandit? That was a crit. Yo, turn one crits. Strike us again. He no longer has a sand stream ability, but that does not matter. Because his sand is already up. Are you kidding me, bro? He literally turn one crit me. Well, we gotta go out on the Aegislash in close combat and hope for the best. He really turned one crit me. This is already going swimmingly. This is just going so well. Uh, we're gonna close combat. I could have Sword Stance. And uh, I'm glad I didn't Sword Stance. I want to say this just kills. I am an Aegislash. And he probably thought I was weakness policy, which is why he didn't straight up attack. But let's see if a close combat gets the kill. Can we get a crit? Hey, he gets the kill. Was that a crit? No, just straight up killing him. Let's go. All right, we'll take that. We will take that. Um, T-Tar's down. He's dead. He's no more. We don't have spikes up. So that sucks, but it is what it is. You know, you take what you get, and you uh, and you don't throw a fit. You know what I'm talking, y'all. You know, you know, you know. He says, hey, 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 yeah. You guys don't know what I'm talking about, but I do. I do. I know what I'm referring to. It's funny. Um, that's a Gaiera dose. Are you just going to Dynamax, sir? Is that what's about to happen? Are you gonna Dynamax? I should King Shield. Um, I should King Shield, but I should also go out into Jellison, right? Yeah, Jealous is kind of free here, right? If he goes for a water type attack, which he probably should, he should probably go for either Earthquake or Crunch if he has it. 
Or just straight up Dynamax Max Airstream. No, he goes for Crunch. Do we eat that? Oh, Cobra Berry, we eat that. Let's see how much this does. I 100% forgot we had the Cobra Berry. So that halves damage on a super effective Dark move, if you guys didn't know. And so by judging by that damage, we can live one more. And if we get this uh, Will-O-Wisp off, we can live more than one more. You know what I'm saying? So let's see if we can get this Will-O-Wisp off. He does land the Crunch. No crits. Let's go. That was a crit. I'm so done with this game, bro. We got a, we got a fat Will-O-Wisp off. All right, so let's look at his team and see if we can't... See if there isn't somebody we can get a nice recover off on. His... Wow, I can't... He, this man really crit two crunches in one game so far. Oh, Sandstorm. We got to Sandstorm. That's unfortunate. But anyways... Uh, who has a lightning attack? I believe Ham Sandwich. That's our Ham Sandwich. That's where he... That's, where he, that's who he is. I kind of want to go out on a Pulte, guys. But nope, I'm going to go out on a Ham Sandwich and Thunderbolt this man. Does he have a ground type switch in? Let me look. Let me look at his team. I don't remember it. Look at him shine. Look at my boy glisten in the sun. In the sand. The sand's still up, by the way. Um, he does not have a Thunderbolt switch in. And this is choice specs from a Dragapult. You're dead. Even if you Dynamax, bro. You're just dead. That man's dead. Now, you could probably switch into, what? Arcanine, maybe? Maybe Arcanine's your best switch in. Maybe, uh, if you're a Scarfed Gardevoir, you switch in now. If you're Scarfed Gardevoir... She's definitely going for Shadow Ball or Dazzling Gleam, one of the two. Or Moonblast, my bad. Moonblast is probably the better option. And that is a Gardevoir, and that is hella scarfed. He's tracing my Infiltrator. Do I Dynamax here? You know, the rule of thumb is the person who Dynamaxes first typically loses. But if I'm predicting a... Um, if I'm predicting a Moonblast here, I can go out on an Aegislash. If it's a Shadow Ball, I can still go out on an Aegislash. So yeah, let's just go for it. Let's go out on the Aegislash. I was going to say Poltergeist because we can eat up uh, both of those because we're sashed. And then we can Revenge Kill with Shadow Ball because we'll be plus two speed thanks to Weak Armor. Um, But I'm actually just going to go out on the Aegislash. I'm going to say Poltergeist for the end game to possibly get a nice late sweep and see how it goes with that. Because I don't see any, I guess, yeah. I don't see any Pokemon that has, uh, what's it called? Um, priority attacks. He, she does go for Moonblast, so that was cool. Glad we switched into uh, our Aegislash. Now, if she Scarfed into that... We're free to kind of Swords Dance right here. We're actually super free to Swords Dance right here. If she Scarfed into it. She could Dynamax Mystical Fire. That's an option she has. But I want to say we live that. But let's just see what happens here. She withdraws. So we get a free Swords Dance. I don't know what, Arcanine? Yep, Arcanine to get the Intimidate off. That's pretty smart. That's pretty smart. Uh, now, are we fast on an Arcanine? I want to say no. But does a plus two Shadow Sneak kill an Arcanine? Most likely not. And if he Will-O-Wisp, it goes through King Shield. And I want to say I live a Fire-type move. Yeah, we're going to actually get greedy and Swords Dance again. He could Dynamax Max Flare. He does Will-O-Wisp. Okay, so I'm glad I Swords Dance again. Because we were plus one. Now we're minus one. And then now we're going to be basically right back where we were just were in the, with this willow with this. Okay, so we're good. So we're good. We're good. We're good. Um, he was faster than me. That's what we found out there. So I can, I want to say I'm going to fire off a close combat. I would shadow sneak because it is stab. But I think flare blitz, we live that. Come on. Tell me we live that. We live in. We live in. We live in. We did. I should have shadow sneaked. All right. Well, that's on me. That's on me. That's on me. That's on me. Also, probably should have uh, King Shield instead. And he's, we find out he's Leftovers Arcanine. Unfortunately, we do not have our... Um, neither our Jellicent nor our Runagrigus. We do have Chandelure. I guess we can go on to Chandelure and minimize. But then if he stays in and Dynamaxes, that's kind of dire. Uh, Ham Sandwich probably doesn't one-hit KO. Poltergeist definitely doesn't. Hmm. Let's go on to Chandelure. I probably should have predicted the... if I, Because I knew he was going to Will-O-Wisp there on Aegislash. So I'm, I probably should have just went out on to Chandelure and just ate that up with my Flash Fire. Uh, so he could Dynamax here. I'm still going to minimize no matter what. 
I know I really don't like minimizing before. They, okay, you're stupid. I really don't like minimizing before they dynam before they dynamax. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Cause it kind of defeats the purpose if he does dynamax. He should be running crunch, but he's most likely not. What would you be running? I'm, I kind of want to get a calm mind up too. Let's do it. Let's see what he goes for here. I'm kind of intrigued by this man currently. I like his team. I really do. His team's pretty nice. Not going to lie. He does withdraw, so we get a free Calm Mind up. And he goes out into this thing. What's this thing? Call it a little oyster. So he most likely kills us with Rock Blast if he lands. But does he land? That's the question that remains. So we're going to Shadow Ball. We're going to Shadow Ball. He could Dynamax Max Rockfall, but then he breaks his own Sash. So I don't think he's going to do that. But he could. He does it. We get our fat Shadow Ball off. This should knock him down to his Sash. And let's see if he lands his Rock Blast. Or his Hydro Pump or whatever he goes for. Shell Smash. Okay, that's a, that's a play. That's a play. Oh, and I don't have priority anymore. This is actually a good play for him. If he Dynamaxes here, he might just... Well, I guess I, I have a Focus... I have a Focus Sash, um... What's it called? So I guess I'm actually okay. If he Dynamax... I feel like he should Dynamax here, even though he's only one. Okay, and he lands. Of course he lands. Alright, well... That's... That's, you know... That's just... Sometimes minimized Bright Powder doesn't work, and it's okay. We are running a very cheeky set. Oh, and unfortunately... Unfortunately... We don't have any... We lose here. Yeah, because Focus Sash doesn't care when it's a multi-attack hit. We lose here. Unless Ham Sandwich can pull off the W. Perhaps if I Dynamax, I live this. <laughs> Probably not. But we'll try it anyways. This is our only play. Dynamax, Max Lightning. I could Max Guard. That's not going to help me. Alright, we got to see if we live here. Unfortunately, we lost our Shadow Sneaker. So... This may or may not uh, be be a good be a good thing here. He's gonna ice school spear 100, percent and it's most likely gonna kill me even though I'm Dynamax. We'll find out together. I can only we can only you know find out and see what happens. Should have kept my Aegis Slash alive. Ice shard, nice. That's not killing. Let's go, bro. That was a misplay if I've ever heard one. He must have thought I was scarfed. He must have thought I was scarfed. So? Good. So he's what? He's going to Dynamax his Arcanine probably? He probably Dynamaxes his Arcanine. He definitely shouldn't have Ice Shard. He 100% he should have Ice School Speared. Based on that Ice Shard damage, Ice School Spear would have destroyed me. Oh my god. Don't even, I don't even want to talk about it, how much it would have destroyed me. Um, That is a Scarfed Moonblasting uh, Gardevoir. So in the off chance that he doesn't go for Moonblast, or he in the off chance that he Dynamaxes, we're gonna go. F we're fat. Oh wait, we just lag hella hard there. We're faster. Why is it lagging all of a sudden, bro? We're faster now. You got rid of your scarf, dude. This might not kill, but you got rid of your. You just got rid of your scarf, bro. You just got rid of your scarf. We're faster now. Max Phantasm is gonna do damage. Alright, it didn't kill, but dude, I think Poltergeist has this. Hold on. We gotta find out who his last Pokemon is. Well, we gotta find out who all he has left. I really don't remember. Hold up, bro. Hold up. Hold up. Poltergeist might have... Why are we lagging? What is going on? Computer. 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 It's not even popping up that we're dropping frames either. It's just... I just keep seeing it skip. This is weird. This is weird. We're dead. We're dead. Uh, what's it called? All right, Pulte guys, it's all up to you, brother. Can the teapot clutch this one? Can the teapot clutch this one? Uh, okay. So you have three Pokemon left. Gallade. Does Gallade get access to a priority move? Probably not Shadow Sneak, but if it is, it's Vacuum Wave. So I want to say we're actually good here with our Shell Smash. Let's do it. We're Focus Sashed. Let's do it. You're going to back Starfall, knock me down to Sash. 
Not even knock me down to Sash. We would have lived that regardless. We Shell Smash. Makes us super strong and super fast. And the, the, the weak arm I activate too? Or no? Must not have. The weak armor, did the weak armor activate? I don't think it did. No, it didn't. Hold up. How does... Does weak armor only activate if you get hit with a physical move? I think that might be it. Physical attacks. Okay, yeah. Okay. It is. All right. Well, either way, this Shadow Ball's killing, bro. We are 806 special attack right now, guys. I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand. I think we got this, dude. Because Arcanine's extreme speed can't hit me because I'm a ghost type. So that's his only priority move. And if and if if Glade gets access to Vacuum Wave, we're good here because that also can't hit me because I'm a Ghost type. So hold up, hold up, hold up. Unless one of them, are fo unless Glade's Focus Sash. Okay, Guard of Guard of Voice. Uh, Arcanines are pretty special defensively bulky, but my special bro, look at my special attack real quick. Hold up. I am I am a modest Poltergeist. With, okay, I guess 204 attack. I'm, I'm thinking about level 100 stats. My attack, my special attack is 408 right now. This better kill, bro. This better kill, bro. This better kill, bro. It's probably, it, it might. I hope so. It does! Yo, I think we got this, dude. Hold up. Did both you guys really just clutch that up? Hold the, hold the teapot. Hold up, bro. Bro, if this, unless this Gallade's sashed. Unless this Gallade's sashed. Don't be sashed. Don't be like that. No, bro. bro yo, the teapot. Yo, the teapot clutch. Let's go, man. That was a great battle. Oh, my God. He almost had me. They had us in the first half. Not going to lie. They had us in the first half. Not going to lie. That was, yo, shout out to you, Red. Thank you for the battle, my dude. That was fun, bro. Pulty guys, man. The, the teapot clutch. I'll take his battle card, sure, I'll look at it, and I'll look at it a little bit. We're going to quit here, and I'm going to end the video off there. That was that was amazing. We got a nice little 6v6 with our Ghost-type team. Battled a real team. That was an actual real team, which was what I'm most happy about. Because, you know, most of the time you run into, like, legendaries or just, like, random, like, random, like, uh, you know, like, uh, what's what's the word I'm thinking of? Like, gameplay teams? I mean, like, in-game teams. You know, teams they beat the game with, and I was like, oh, sure, I'll jump in a Link battle. But anyway, the market hasn't been too good to me re recently. Neither has ranked battles, but 6v6 Link battles have been dope. Let's go. I'm looking to, we're going to get out of here, bro. The Teapot Clutch. I'm going to see you all in the next one. Peace.